Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Casia, in case you are new here. Today I am gonna be doing some acne coverage. So my face is a bit more red than usual. Obviously I still have the acne marks, which is what we're focusing on covering today. But honestly, as soon as I touch my face in the morning, so I've just done my skincare and added SPF and everything, redness. Pure redness, like. So although this sort of redness will subside, the marks, will still stay. Like, they're not going anywhere anytime soon. Makeup bag, let's just go. So I basically want makeup that looks good in person as well as on camera. I like to use a foundation that is full coverage. So this is actually like medium to full coverage. It's buildable, which means I can do a light layer and I can still see my skin. I can go a bit heavier. And for me, I'm just gonna try and add coverage literally where it is needed so i will sometimes just apply this and do it in with my hands usually when i'm going for a lighter coverage but today i'm gonna go with the brush this is like this is a powder brush but i love it for the foundation because it's quick like it's, it's gonna get a large surface area and i'm not here trying to make a really long video or do my makeup for an hour like we just want to get everything looking right Obviously I'm not a makeup artist, but I'm just showing you guys how I personally get coverage. So this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in the shade Cashew. And I kind of like pat and swipe. <laughs> I don't buff because A, I don't want any pilling from my sun cream. And I just, I don't want any extra exfoliation. I'm using a retinoid. That buffering motion is literally exfoliating the skin. It's crazy. Oh, I'm getting a little bit of pilling anyway. So I will have my doxycycline one month update, which is literally going to be around the corner shortly after this video. And that has really helped the texture go down massively. Like my skin is so much smoother. Obviously, antibiotics can't do anything for my hyperpigmentation. That's where the retinoid comes in, adapalene. And that's also where some of my serums help. But I asked my boyfriend how do you think my skin is doing? And he literally said it looks way less angry because let me tell you, these images are not like in unflattering lighting or anything. Like my, my skin was that red, like it was red raw, um, which also made it so much harder to cover as well. I have to be sure to get my jawline. My jawline is somewhere that is filled with hyperpigmentation now. And I still have some very tender spots in like the very corner of my jawline. This would be an example of a very light sort of coverage where you can still see the mark shining through, but it's given that overall complexion of much more clarity to the skin. So this is like definitely something I'd wear daily. But if I'm going to the office and I'm wearing the mask, honestly, this comes off so quick, even with powder. Bearing in mind, I'm in the office for like a good eight hours. So over time, yeah. I'm fully aware I could reapply, but I just, I can't be bothered. It's not that deep. I really like the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealers to help with some extra coverage, but I tend to just go in more with foundation. So yeah, we, we can try this out for a change. So for general, like day to day, Cover it. I don't bother with this <laughs> at all. But because we're trying to go a bit more fuller coverage, we shall. I think the reason I don't bother doing this is because it, it's, it takes more time. <laughs> And I think this is at a point where on camera, it looks the same as how it looks in real life. Like, you know, it's, it's not better looking on camera. I think now is a point where it reaches preference because I could definitely go in with like some more foundation, but I'm also trying to avoid caking it up. So you're gonna still see some of the marks, but it's still a lot more coverage than it was. Like, let's just remember how it was in the beginning. That redness, everything is really 
you know, calm down. So then while the skin is still a little bit wet with the foundation and concealer, I like to go in with blush. So I tend to use this liquid blush from um, NYX Cosmetics. Oh my gosh, can you see it? It's a um, soft cheek tint. It's in the shade Coralicious and it's just very, very pretty. So I'm gonna pop that on the cheeks. I like a lot. <laughs> I'm actually using this for its purpose. This is a blush brush. So you know like baking where you put the powder on, you let it sit. I like to let my all my liquids just sit before I powder. So I'm just gonna go in and do the eyes and the lips. I'll kind of run through it very quickly because obviously this video is about the coverage and then we'll get back to the face. So I'm just doing a really like easy brown eye look, like pretty monotone. So my camera battery died, but I just put a bit of mascara on. I'm just going over this with whatever residue is on my brush from the foundation to kind of soften the blush a little. I filled in my brows too, so I'm just gonna do my lips. It's cute. Um, I'm gonna use this Dior Lip Glow Oil. I don't know what shade I have this in. Is it coral? Yes. For powder, I use the um, Revolution Banana Lights. I also have the other one. I think it's a medium. When I powder, I tap to try and maintain the coverage. I don't want to rub anything away. So I like to do a bit of powder, do the setting spray, and then do the powder again. I don't know if that's right or wrong, but that's just what I like to do. The setting spray I have is the Urban Decay. I can never tell if this is the right way up. Right. Then fanning is important to me. Like I can't add a setting spray without doing a little fan. So then you can see how the setting spray kind of leaves the skin. But I am just gonna powder down a little bit more. I don't need it to be matte, but I just want it to be a little bit less reflective. Ta-da! So this is the end product. I think it's like a nice amount of coverage without being super cakey, without looking too full on, and it can definitely work for an everyday situation. It's covered, but it doesn't look like I have 500 layers of foundation. Well, because I don't. I don't have a ton of makeup on, but it provides coverage in the way that I need it with the amount that I use. So just a little goes a long way, if you could make it work, you know? So please stay tuned for my doxycycline update and my different update. I'll let you guys know how that is going, helping my acne. And I will also probably do another video similar to this with makeup, but what I actually wear for work, because for work, I have to wear my glasses. So this area creases very easily. I have my mask sometimes. So the makeup is different. Like you'll see the marks and it's a very, I guess it's a, a natural, it's kind of this, but taken down a peg or two because I'm not, I'm not trying to conceal a lot. Oh dear, okay, well, I have to log in literally two minutes for work. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video, bye.